Hi right, everyone, welcome to the latest weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. We're gonna talk about snow, wind, and rain that'll impact Southern California, especially on December 14th coming up. We had some rain on Thursday. Widespread rain occurred. Amounts were light in most of the coastal cities and communities. However, along the coastal slopes, you can see the blue and precipitation was a half inch to, in some cases, over an inch to around an inch and a third. It was welcome rain, um, really needed fire weather conditions after a dry and very warm November have been critical of late. So this was perfect timing. Here we are in December, well into the water year. What's been going on this fall? Why so warm and dry? Upper level high pressure in response to a stationary deep upper level low or cold pocket of air in the Gulf of Alaska. The battle between those two, well, that's the red line, and that's been where atmospheric rivers have been persistent from Hawaii up to Seattle and British Columbia. Now, our troublemaker upper level high has been shifted into the central Pacific as shown here. This map, by the way, is an average of the weather conditions from October 1st through early December. The weak storm that went by yesterday looked like this. It was a fast moving storm coming from the Northwest along that red line shown there. The cold air in the Gulf of Alaska that has been nearly stationary for a couple months, part of that's gonna come down. It's gonna come down like this on Monday. That'll set the stage for a deep upper level trough strong wind flow where you see all those lines together, creating a hose as it taps into tropical moisture to the south and focusing that on Northern California. That'll develop the precipitation rapidly and widespread on Monday. For us in Southern California, it'll take until Tuesday and then that upper level trough or cold pocket of air will modify some, open up and swing across Southern California. We'll still get a shot of cold air We'll still get part of that atmospheric river and we'll get the wind, those tight lines as they go across Southern California where that arrow is pointed to. Speaking of atmospheric river, there is the potential for a broad, not necessarily narrow and intense, but a broad plume of moisture being transported up into Southern California. It looks like especially on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. The winds will be strong too. It looks like the orange shaded and red shading, that's where areas will exceed 50 miles per hour. I think our primary concern will be the San Bernardino Mountains and the coastal desert slopes adjacent to that. Other areas will be windy, so do anticipate windy conditions along the coastal cities. But for damaging high impact winds, we gotta watch the mountain crests, the ridges, and the downsloping desert areas. And that'll include all the mountain passes. So this upcoming storm on Tuesday, what will it bring? It looks like the precipitation will be widespread heavy with even spillover into the deserts. So we're calling for one to two inches across all the urban areas, all the coastal cities and inland valleys. Our wetter slopes, and that'll take us from Palomar Mountain all the way up to Idlewild and then along the San Bernardino frontal slopes, those coastal slopes will be the wettest where we could see amounts of two to four inches of precipitation. Of course, a bunch of that's gonna be snow above 6,000 feet. So along our coast, do anticipate for some heavy rain looking like Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. Here's the California depiction. You can see across the state of California, this is gonna be largely very beneficial to the drought situation not improving it greatly and not removing it, but beneficial nonetheless. Sierra Nevada area, we're talking precipitation amounts of five to near 10 inches of water. Of course, a lot of that's gonna be snow. Do we get more storms? Well, the storm we just saw kind of opened the door coming in from the Northwest and it does look like another shot a weaker and you can see the storm is split based on those lines. A weaker system coming through late next week, looking like on Friday for some precipitation, keeping cool air in place. 
What about beyond that? Right before Christmas, there's the potential for another upper level trough, kind of the same path coming from the northwest. Those tend to be dry and cold, but as you'll see next Tuesday, they also can tap into moisture from the south. Here's the official outlook, below normal temperatures for Southern California between the 16th and 20th of December, so mid-December, and about average to slightly above average precipitation potential. What about further out? Right before Christmas, we look like we're gonna remain cool and unsettled for the West. So definitely a change in the weather pattern after a dry and very warm November. This is promising for additional precipitation right before Christmas. The long range outlook matches that and it takes us through the end of the month, calling for below average temperatures across most of California, about average for SoCal, and above average precipitation across almost all the West. Here are some of the highlights. Some of these details will change as we get closer to Tuesday. But keep in mind the strong wind setup for the San Bernardino Mountains and the desert coastal slopes. The heavy rain potential, especially for Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, with some critical rainfall rates that will cause some urban flooding and pose some threat to our burn scars. Don't forget, a lot of our mountain areas haven't seen much rain, so anywhere could see some rock slides and flood impacts. The mountains will also see heavy snow. We could be talking feet, one to two feet above 7,000 feet ski resort level. The mountain communities, we could be talking six to as much as 18 inches of snow. It's cold enough that we could see some snow accumulation down to just around 3,000 feet. So certainly some snow could affect the mountain passes. Stay tuned for later updates on the snowfall forecasts. And for our urban areas, mostly nuisance flooding, but too much rain at once, particularly in Orange County and the Inland Empire areas, could cause some urban and small stream flooding. So all those dry creeks and channels will be flowing as early as Tuesday afternoon. Some alerts that may be issued, ones that you need to be aware of, the watch, that's the first product, long lead time for planning, meaning the potential is there. The warning, well, that means we've upgraded the watch and it's urgent. This is the highest level and it's likely imminent. So occurring now or very shortly in the next day or so. The advisory, that's also imminent, but it's for lower impact. It means it's for areas prone to flooding, prone to wind, areas where people may not take any precautions and still get into trouble and have problems. So keep these in mind as we move forward towards this storm. Here are the highlights. November had no precipitation. So this is a pattern change for sure. It looks like it'll be with us through much of December, but this main storm looks to be early next week. And we are targeting with the arrow is Tuesday and Tuesday evening for the brunt of the heavy snow, heavy rain, and those high winds. Those high winds affecting the mountains and desert slopes. Potential for one to two inches, even in the urban metro areas, our coastal cities, our mountain communities could see significant snowfall, um, certainly between six and 18 inches, up around 6,500 feet. Overall, this pattern change, like discussed, looks like it could continue, at least with additional storm potential for mid to late December. Thanks for tuning in. Most importantly, check our watches, warnings, and advisories that will be posted in real time at weather.gov. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and we'll post latest snowfall, latest wind, latest rainfall predictions, and of course, what has already occurred across Southern California. Stay safe, everyone.